Hey, good afternoon, college coaches. This is Anthony Williams, uh, founder and CEO of Connected Athletics. Uh, we are a startup company based in Austin, Texas. We're focused on uh, connecting student athletes to other student athletes during the recruiting process and also connecting student athletes with college coaches uh, during this very interesting COVID-19 uh, recruiting cycle that we're in. Uh, but most importantly, as a company, we're focused on helping student athletes successfully transition from high school to college and then into a career either in the NFL or a career in their major. Uh, we've got our second uh, guest on the show today, uh, another great linebacker from the Dallas area. Uh, Anthony Hill Jr. is a class of 23 linebacker athlete uh, at Denton Ryan High School. He's 6'2", 215 pounds, has a GPA of 3.0. Uh, Anthony, how are you doing this, today, this afternoon? I'm doing good. What about you? I'm doing great, man. Thanks for coming on the show and uh, and, get, and and telling us your story. You know, obviously your your recruiting stock is starting to get really high. People are starting to notice you as you go into your sophomore year. But I wanted to give you a chance to kind of tell these coaches about you personally and about your family and, and know what kind of person they're getting as part as far as uh, you know leadership and and as a student athlete. So let's just jump right in here and then just start with. Uh, the academics, which is the number one thing that coaches want to know about. Uh, tell us about the importance you put on your academics. Uh, I feel like it's very important for you to learn because if you're not learning, you're just like you're just going to be stuck there. I feel like it's very important to grow your mind. Okay. Tell us what are some of your favorite subjects uh, dur uh, that, that drive your GPA? Are you a math guy, science guy, what? I really like English and Spanish. Okay. Do you speak Spanish fluently? Uh, I'm getting there, but I don't getting I there? Can't speak it fluently. Okay. Are there any uh, favorite teachers that have had an Im a positive impact on your academics that you want to shout out right now? Uh, my English teacher, Ms. Ford. Okay. And uh, is, does, does she make it uh, make learning fun? What is it about her that, that, that keeps you engaged in your academics? Uh, she makes learning fun, and she understands the way that every student learns and it makes it really easy for, for you to learn in the class. Oh, that's good, that's good to hear. Tell us, um, you know, you're only going into your uh, sophomore year here, but tell us um, what do you have planned as far as uh, majoring in college? Do you have an idea what you might want to major in? Uh, I'm going to major in business because I actually already have a business, a shirt business that I'm wearing right now. So okay. I, I make sh shirts and hats. All right. Well, hey, let's shout that out right now. What's the name of the company? What are you guys doing? And then how can they get uh, access to your shirts? Uh, it's on my Instagram, the goat underscore hill underscore business. And we make shirts, hats. Uh, we make shirts, hats, pants. And that's what we do. How long have you been doing that? That's pretty interesting. For around like three months. Okay. And uh, so you obviously are already in high school and got an entrepreneurial spirit. Uh, is this something that you just started with a friend or a family member? Tell us a little bit about the background of your company. Uh, me and my mom. My mom thought it was a good idea to start it, and I thought it was too. So we both just said, like, let's do it. Okay. Is there a website that we, that, that we can go to to check out some of the products? Uh, it's on Square. You can go on Square, and you can put in the go underscore here, and it should, it should pop up. Oh, well, that is outstanding. Okay. So – uh, sounds like you might want to then major in business, I guess, or no? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, your goal one day to maybe uh, own your own business or work at a large uh, company? Which one is it? Um, probably maybe own my own business for sure. Okay. Man, I like that. That is, that is very inspiring. That's something that definitely college coach will want to know about uh, here going forward. Um, staying on your academics a little bit, tell us, um, you know, coaches want to understand your, your learning style. Would you consider your learning style more visual, more verbal, or more hands-on? More visual. Okay. And tell us, uh, is that the same for the classroom and the football field or both, or is it different in, in each environment? You're both same on the field and in the classroom. Okay. All right. Um, tell me a little bit about, um, you know, when, what are you looking forward to uh, as far as an academic challenge in transitioning from high school to college? What are some things that you're looking forward to at the college level? Uh, I like that you could you could pick a certain thing that you want and stay focused on it for three to four years. I like that you can just set your mind on it and just get to it. Okay, I like that. Um, tell us, you know, what are some of the things, you know, being a successful student athlete is about sacrifice. Tell these coaches some of the things you've sacrificed to keep a strong GPA and still be a good athlete on your football team. Uh, a little bit of your free time, cutting down some of the 
and maybe going out and having fun with your friends, maybe get less on the game, to stay home, do a little extra homework, work out a little bit more. Okay. What is uh? What do you think? What if you could uh, summarize into one thing? Uh, what that you would suggest to other student athletes? What's the one thing that you do that helps you drive having a strong GPA and also being a successful football player? Um, just always try to stay focused and work hard on everything you do. Okay, I like it. All right, let's switch over to recruiting real quick. Um, tell us, you know, we're obviously in this COVID-19 environment. What have you been doing to stay in shape to get ready for the upcoming season? I have dumbbells at my house. I do a lot of push-ups, sit-ups, ab workouts, a lot of different, um, a lot of different curls, working on my arms, and I also work out with Truba, so I get a lot of DB work from there too. Good job. Okay. Tell us, um, going into your sophomore year here, what do you consider your strengths, and what are some of the things you're working on going into the season? I think I need to work on being a little bit more more patient when I play. And also, I feel like my one of my strengths is how how fast I am for my size. Okay. What about your strength? Being a linebacker, obviously, take strength. You've already got good height and size. But, uh, are you still working on your upper and lower body strength uh, to bring you for the season? Yes, I'm still working on my, my legs a lot. I, I do a lot of power clean and squatting, a lot of benching, okay. too. As a former linebacker myself that played both inside and outside, uh, let me have you grade yourself uh, from zero to five, five being the best, zero being the worst. Uh, how would you consider your feet, your footwork as a linebacker? What grade would you I feel you? like I feel like there are four. Okay. There's still a little bit I need to work on. Okay. What about your hip fluidity and hip explosion when you tackle? How would you grade that? Um, maybe a three. I need to work on that a little bit more. Okay. And then what about your upper body strength, using your hands, be explosive, get off blocks? How would you grade that? I think that, that, could, that could be a five. Okay. And then what about uh, your eyes, playing with good eyes, zone eyes, man eyes, uh, run eyes? How would you grade your eyes, eye progression? Um, a three. That's something I need to work on, too. Okay. And then lastly, uh, what about your mental preparation, uh, the mental aspect of the game? What would you grade yourself at as a linebacker? A four. I feel like I have mm -hmm. good preparation. Right, Anthony. I, I mean, I respect that those are honest assessments. Most kids are like, oh, I'm a five across the board. And I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> but I yeah. appreciate that you're honest about that. Um, tell us, is there a certain college or pro player that you uh, pattern your game off of? And who is it? At linebacker, I watch a lot of Bobby Wagner since I'm a Seahawks fan. So it's just, it's already okay. right there. Yeah. Okay. And what are, what are a couple of things about his game that you're trying to integrate into your game? How he's a tackle machine. He makes a lot of tackles. He's, he's always patient. He's um he's a good blitzer and he's very fast. He's fast, he's quick. Okay. Well that's a good transition. Uh, I've seen your video lots of times, obviously, and seen you at camps and combines and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna bring up your video and let's have you kind of walk us through a couple of plays and tell us from your perspective uh, what you did to make that great play. Yes, sir. All right, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. All right, I'm hit play. Just walk us through who the pwn is, the situation, and then what you're doing. Um, I actually don't remember the team, but they called a blitz on this play, and then the the offensive lineman didn't pick me up, so it was a free. It was just a free shot to the quarterback. Love those plays, the linebacker when nobody blocks me, huh? <laughs> I know. Um, this one was against Granbury. Um, I was at I was at DN. I seen the lineman went kind of high, so I kind of leaned under him, and I got I got under him pretty easily, straight to the quarterback. And caused a fumble, big turnover in the game. Now that's very nice work. Tell me, tell us a little bit about your mentality when you're rushing the passer. Uh, what are you thinking? What are you trying to do? Uh, what technique you decide to use? How are you reading the line, the lineman? Uh. I just try to stay a little patient while I'm doing it, see what he does, and then I attack right after it. And then when you get to the quarterback, are you intentionally trying to get that, that strip sack? Is that something you guys work on at, at Ryan? Um, yes, we work on that a lot, actually. OK, good deal. On this, it was a blitz, and I seen it was a play action. I didn't, I didn't fall for the play action. I seen the, I seen the quarterback. I seen the quarterback uh, bootleg out, so I was, I'm, I'm about to go get him. Um, 
on this play, uh, I could I could tell it was a fake. I seen it. I seen him run outside, so I was like, I'm, I'm right there. So I just made the play. I seen I see the play. Up, uh, Anthony on the inside and outside. Do you have a preference on which linebacker position you like playing? Uh, I like actually. I like playing both. I like playing okay. inside and outside. Love how you get downhill and then use your speed to close and make a good play here. It's, it's good stuff. A couple more plays. On this one, I seen the outside zone. So oh. I seen how I seen how wide he was getting. So I tried to make the right angle to get to him. Real nose for the ball. Good tackling technique. I like it. On this one, I seen before the play started, I seen the running back kind of twitching a little bit to the left. So I could tell right when the ball, right when the ball got snapped, I knew where it was going. So I tried to get there. It was a fourth and one stop. Anthony, one of the reasons why I, I like this play, I've watched the film a lot of times. I like, it's rare that linebackers show them scraping down the line when you're the backside linebacker and making a play. Most of you, you probably have seen most of the linebackers, uh, they put a lot of blitzes and, and things like that. But this shows great technique and how you're shuffling, getting you're showing your speed across the field and then finishing the play. This is, this is tremendous uh, work right here. Shuffle, shuffle, now go find the ball and then just make a great tackle for a loss. That's, that's good stuff. One more play here. This one was that running back. Um, I seen the I seen the backside hole open up. So and then I seen I seen them cut back and I seen that the uh, the DB wasn't he wasn't trying to tackle me. So I just went right past them and I just I just I seen the uh, the outside open. So I just tried to hurry up and get out to the outside so I could get into the end zone. How many uh How much time do you spend playing running back, Anthony? Oh, I spent a lot of the time. I, I was playing linebacker, running back, fifty fifty. Okay. I mean, this is this is good. I mean, you look like Derrick Henry here, big size, elusive, and then turn the Jets on. This is very impressive. Is that something we're going to see also this year? You playing both running back and linebacker at Ryan or no? Um, I actually don't. I don't know yet. Okay. And do you, I mean, obviously you like carrying the ball, obviously, and showing off that part yes, of, your, of your game, right? Yes, sir. Wow, that's that's a lot of athleticism. Very impressive. Um, so let's, let's swing to recruiting right now. I know you're just not going to your sophomore year, but uh, tell us about your recruiting experience. Who are you hearing from and where are you in the recruiting process? Um, it's been, it's been very good. I've been hearing from a, a couple, few couple schools a lot. I've been hearing from a lot of schools lately. Okay. And then are you, uh, are you, are you open? Do you want to stay in state or you don't mind going out of the state for your education? Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I don't mind going out of state. Okay. Um, what is it about, uh, tell these coaches, when did you first start playing football and when did you fall in love with it? I've been playing football since I was five and I fell in love with it around the same age too and I've been playing ever since. Okay. Anthony, was there a moment recently when you said, oh yeah, I can play this game at the college level? When, when was that moment? What year was that? Around, around sixth grade, I realized it. Okay. And then you've got tremendous size, 6'2", 215 right now. Uh, we're going to talk about your family a little bit, but uh, what do you think your height and weight will be by the time you graduate from Ryan? Um, I think I'm probably going to end up being around 6'4", around 230. Scary. That is, that is a tremendous size. Um, one of the things college coaches want to know about is your relationship with your high school coaches. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with your position coach and your head coach. Oh, actually, actually, we talked to him a lot, two to three times a week. I talked to him. And then what about uh, technique? What are the coaches doing to, you know, to get you ready? And actually, let me change the question. What are the coaches doing off the field to prepare you for life being a successful student athlete? Uh, they, just, they just talk to me about certain things, ask me how I'm doing, ask me if I need help with anything. Just, they just ask me uh, good questions about my life, make sure I'm okay, make sure I'm okay with everything. Okay. Tell us about some people in your life, and it could be family or non-family, that's had a positive influence on your life. Actually, both my parents have had a, actually a really positive influence in my life. Okay. Um, 
t- you know, big question that coaches will ask you, and it's a simple question, but it's hard to ask sometimes. Why do you think your game translates to the college level? Because because of my size and uh, my my size and speed, and how I can I can see things really clear on the field, and uh, how I'm such a, I'm a hard worker. So you're going you're going to get the best out of me every play. Okay. Well, obviously, Denton Ryan's got a, a, a very strong program. He's been playing for state semifinals and championships. Take this time to, to tell these coaches who else on your team they should be recruiting that maybe isn't getting a lot of recruiting attention right now. Um, definitely Coach De La Torre, um, Callan Davis, our running back, Caleb Hicks. Definitely should be getting a little bit more attention. Okay. And then tell me, from a football perspective, who is the best player you faced uh, last year? Uh, could be a lineman, could be a quarterback or a running back, but who is somebody you say, hey, I respect that guy's game? Um, actually, the running back at West Mesquite, he was, he was pretty good. Okay. All right. Show us a little love. I like that. Um, what do you, with your, with your size and athletic ability, what other sports are you playing at Denton Ryan? I actually just quit basketball in my eighth grade year and I run, I run track. Okay. Are you a sprinter, middle distance? What do you do? What, what, what do you mention? Sprinter. You I run 200s. Wow. Okay. And tell us, you know, coaches love athletes that run track. Uh, tell us one thing that track has made you help make you a better football player. How my, my, my beginning speed, I feel like that definitely made it quicker. Starting off, mm-hmm. it's my explosion. Has it also helped with your, with you, like, because, you know, people think, oh, you just run. No, there's actually technique to running. Has your running mm-hmm. technique gotten better since running track? Oh, yes, and, um, and my endurance, too. Yeah, okay, I like it. Um, tell me, Anthony, how do you define leadership? And then tell me, how do you plan on leading going into your sophomore season? Um, I feel like a leader just leads by example. He he keeps uh, maybe certain people in check when they need to be checked. And I think I lead by my team by example. Okay, I like it. Um, one of the things that coaches want to know about is uh, which coaching style best suits you as a player. Uh, talk about your coach ability. Do you like a, a coach who's going to challenge you and maybe yell? Or do you like the more the quiet coach who's going to look to you, talk to you about your, your, your assignment and go from there? I think definitely coaches should maybe yell certain times and chill. Like, I think they should be a little balanced with both because if yeah. there's no screaming, like, they're not trying to get you a little better. Yeah. You definitely got to okay. scream at you a little bit. The other thing coaches want to understand is a player's um, competitive spirit. Tell these coaches a little bit about your competitive spirit and how competitive you are. I, I hate losing. I never, I never like losing. It don't matter if it's Uno or I don't, I don't <laughs> like losing. Well, no, none of us like losing, but tell us, obviously, when you do lose, tell us a little bit about how you use that to become a better player and get ready for the following week. Uh, I, try to use the, I try to use the things that I watch the game and see what things that I need to fix or maybe we need to fix, and I try to address it. Okay, I like it. Uh, let's, uh, before we finish up here, let's move into some of the things about you personally. What are some of the things you like doing when you're not training or playing football? What are some I'll of the actually, I got a PS4. I'm on my PS4 a lot. Uh, Madden, 2K, GTA, Call of Duty. I play a lot okay. of different games. Okay, so that leads to the obvious question. Are you giving L's or taking L's? No, I, I don't know. I don't give, I'm, not giving, I'm giving L's a lot. Okay, all right. Uh, tell us, you know, a lot of, a lot of teenagers your age spend a lot of time on their phones. Uh, what are some of your favorite apps you spend a lot of time on? Are you a YouTube guy, Twitter, Instagram, Snap, TikTok? I'm on, I'm on Twitter and Instagram a lot. Okay. I'm on Snapchat a little bit, but not a lot. All right, we're not going to see you doing the Renegade on, on TikTok or anything like that? No. Nah, nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, um, tell, us, tell us a little bit about your family now. We mentioned them a little bit earlier. Tell us about your mom and dad and about your siblings. Are you an only child? Are you the oldest, the youngest? Tell us a little bit about that. Um, I'm the oldest child. I have a five-year-old little brother and, of course, my mom and dad. And that's about it. Okay. What do your mom and dad do for a living? My mom works in healthcare, and my dad is a forklift driver. Okay. And then tell us about the importance you put on being the best big brother you can be. I feel like it's very important to be a leader to him, of course, because if he, if he sees you doing bad, he's, gonna, he's probably going to follow right behind you. Okay. Good stuff. Um, tell us, you know, pregame or working out, what are some of, the fa- some of your favorite artists that you listen to to get you hyped before a game? I listen to a lot of Pop Smoke, Lil Uzi, Polo G, um, 
a little dirk. I lost and I listen to a lot of different different uh music. Okay. Tell us um what are you doing to give back to your community, Anthony, up in the Denton area? Actually in uh in True Buzz, we we usually go to the homeless and we fed the homeless a couple of times, uh backpacks. We give backpacks to people. We don't do a lot of that. That's awesome. Okay. And then tell us a little bit about um, you know, when you are out with your teammates, uh, whether it's True Buzz or your high school teammates, uh, how do you how are you being a leader and example for them? I mean, obviously you're you're a talented player, but uh, some of the players that we all know they're not as serious about the game as maybe you are. What are you doing to help them lock in on being the best student athlete they can be? Um, maybe like you, of course you maybe got to try to talk to them, like maybe like you got to get them to see where you see at, maybe talk to them a little bit. Something like that. Okay. You know, we're trying to come out of this COVID-19 environment. Um, you get, get out hanging with your friends a little bit. Uh, what's your shoe game looking like? Are you a big shoe guy? Yeah, I wear a lot of Air Forces. I got some white ones, some gray and black ones. I got, I got a lot of different Air Forces. Okay, good stuff. Um, lastly here, you know, we talked about the elevator pitch. Um, tell these coaches um, why they should recruit you and what you're going to bring to their program. I feel like you should recruit me because I'm a hardworking guy. I feel like I'm also not going to be a problem outside of, outside of, uh, I'm not going to be a problem anywhere else. You're not going to have to come do anything, checking me extra. Cause I feel like I'm, I'm just, I'm a, a chill. I feel like that, um, I can bring a good leader to the school. I feel like also I'm very good, of course, on the field, but off the field, I'm very good too. Um, a fun, a fun guy, of course. I'm, I'm very fun. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, that's about it. Good stuff. Yeah. Let me ask you this last question. Uh, you know, it, everything goes your way, and you have a successful three or four years in college, and you are in New York City at the NFL draft. Who is at your table waiting for the commit, waiting for the commission to call your name? Who's there with you? Um, my mom, my dad, and my little brother. Okay. Good stuff, man. Well, Anthony, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you on the field uh, this fall. Continue to be safe and work hard this summer. Uh, if you need anything, obviously let me know. Uh, we'll get this recording out to all the coaches, and I'm sure it's going to have a direct impact on your recruiting, man. Uh, be good and be safe, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, man, have a great day. You too.